Grace to you and peace from our risen Lord Jesus Christ. First of all, I want to express my deep gratitude to so many of you uh, for the cards, the texts, the emails, the calls that Diana and I have received uh, regarding my mom's death and also my father's surgery and his move to Louisville temporarily uh, to, uh, to live with us as he heals. Uh, the reality of community and your deep care has uh, been very real and I do thank you for that very much. This is Wednesday and we are as a church, as a staff, beginning a Wednesday uh, tradition of uh, sending a video out, uh, keeping you up to date on what's going on. Uh, this Wednesday video has several components. One is that uh, our deacons will be meeting virtually next week and they are already in the process of uh, calling each member of their flock uh, to check on you and to stay in contact. There are plans for our youth and for our children uh, to be involved in this process, to send cards, uh, to make some phone calls, and uh, to connect with you and maintain that community. We do encourage you, if you're part of a small group, if you're part of a spot group, uh, to meet virtually and we can help you uh, with instructions how to do that. We have some pretty capable people here who seem to understand computers well and uh, if you are part of a group that would like to meet that way, uh, please contact uh, the church office and we'll help you with that. We are planning to do an online Bible study that I will lead, uh, something like Morning Joy. Uh, we'll be in touch with you about details with that. Uh, probably won't happen tomorrow, uh, but we will be doing that uh, next week. Also, we will continue to live stream our worship services at 10 a.m. on Sunday. And we will also have a Maundy Thursday and a Good Friday service. Uh, that will be either uh, taped and available or live streamed uh, to our congregation. This coming Sunday, I am planning to preach on lament. The idea that we as faithful followers of Jesus Christ, that we have the freedom uh, to come before the Lord with uh, how we are feeling right now uh, with our fears, our pain, our needs, our uncertainties and that uh, that is the exact place they need to go that we need to share with God uh, how we are feeling and what we're afraid of and, and our needs and uh, our hopes. So lament is part of our tradition and I'll be preaching from uh, Jesus' prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane as he's facing his own pain and uh, from, uh, from Psalm 42, which is one of the most beautiful psalms uh, in all of the Psalter. So we'll be uh, not, in a, not in a heavy, depressing, dark way, uh, but in a way that's realistic. Uh, we will be facing uh, in the sermon uh, the situation that we're all dealing with right now uh, and in a way that is faithful. There is a, uh, a quotation I ran across today related to that that reads, uh, Revealing your feeling is the beginning of healing. And I think that is true uh, spiritually as well as on a practical level. And so that's part of what lament is. Revealing your feeling and that is the beginning of healing. We trust that God's grace continues to flow in this time as it does always. And I remind you of our church's mission statement, most recent, that uh, we are sharing the grace of God with each other and with the world around us. And I encourage you this day uh, to be mindful of ways you can share that undeserved favor, that, uh, that graciousness uh, of God with those around you and those you uh, are in contact with uh, electronically. But let us share that grace uh, with each other 
and with this world around us that needs it so much right now. Peace be with you all, and we'll talk with you soon.